Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having a super duper week. Um, so it's Monday morning and I decided to do a little vlog today for no particular reason other than I'm feeling very chatty. I actually just filmed my makeup routine. Hopefully you will have seen this Ooh, Inception, tonight for me, Monday night for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would do another vlog. I haven't vlogged since Vlogmas, so I wanted to get back into the swing of things. Um, and I thought I'd kick it off today, because why not? So, today, as I mentioned, is Monday morning. Charlie's at the gym, the cleaner has just left, and I'm about to sit down and really get on with my work. I've already had a productive morning. I woke up at half past six, I did a little bit of meditation, which I'll chat to you about in a second, and I, um, what did I do? So I wrote a blog post, I wrote my Barbados blog post, I wrote another blog post, I replied to loads of comments on my designer haul YouTube video. Um, and by the way, a couple of those I was a bit like, hmm, because um, obviously I did that declutter video and I think a lot of you may have joined my channel as a result of the decluttering video and I'm not sure, maybe it was a little bit mixed messages because obviously I did a declutter video and then my next two videos were hauls. And yes, so I did, obviously I'm not gonna be changing um, my whole personality. I do love shopping, I do love fashion, I do love makeup, but the whole point of the de declutter video was for me to say, look, I wanna find more balance. I appreciate that too much stuff is claustrophobia inducing, it is stressful. So I'm more out with the old, in with the new, that type of thing. So I hope that didn't um, confuse you or I hope I didn't sound like I was sending out too many mixed messages because that's certainly what it looks like from a few of the comments on the haul video. But the pieces that I bought also are really long-term investment pieces. They're not like frivolous fast fashion trends, um, but more long-term pieces that are gonna be in my collection for many years to come. So I hope you guys understand that. So on the agenda today, um, it's about half past nine now. I'm gonna get on with my work in a second, as I mentioned. And then at two o'clock, I have got my first ever PT session. And um, I'm a little bit nervous, but also really, really excited because Charlie and I have been doing the same thing in the gym for like yonks. And I'm really excited for someone to shake up my gym routine a little bit, show me what I can be doing that'll really help to improve my body. I um, am hoping to get a little bit more svelte in the upper leg department, on the tummy department as well. They are my main, they are my main goals. So hopefully Adam, I think his name's Adam, from Virgin Active in Clapham will help me to achieve those goals. So if I can, I will film a little bit of it, but I don't want it to be too intense. Like, hi, I'm your new client and I'm gonna film everything we do together. So yeah, we'll see, we'll go with the flow. Also, when Charlie gets back from the gym, I think we're gonna go to our local GP to inquire about vaccinations because as I mentioned in a previous video, I think it was my, um, what I got for Christmas, we're going to India in um in the end of february at the end of february we're not going to be going to any resorts or things like that so we have to have vaccinations um so we're going to go and check out the ones that we have to have before the trip so that's the plan um oh yeah i was going to talk to you about meditation so yeah one of my news resolutions was to stick to the habit of meditating every morning and i have done so far i basically just come into this room which is my filming room because Charlie doesn't ever really come in here. I sit on the bed over there and I look out the window and to be honest, at the moment I'm using the Headspace app. I'd never really used it that much before. I'd kind of dipped in and out, but I'm really um, getting into the swing of their program. So Headspace is what I'm using at the moment. I'm also, you guys were amazing when I asked for tips for other like bloggers and YouTubers and blogs and podcasts in my decluttering video. You sent me so many suggestions and I've been really liking a load of the podcasts. I'll leave a few links down below. And they're really just helping to keep me motivated um, and you know, just have more positive, mindful thoughts. So that's really lovely. I also spray myself with this. I got this in the post from Aveda a little while ago, but never really found a use for it. It's the Chakra 6 um, Balancing Body Mist and it smells so nice, really spa-like. And it just, it's almost become like a symbol of relaxation for me so when I spritz myself with that I know it's time to do some meditation so just that oh oh my god it smells so good so I've been really enjoying using that um yeah I think that's all I have to say for my super long rambly intro so I'm gonna head downstairs now get on with some work and I'll catch up with you guys shortly 
before I go downstairs, I just want to share with you a little bit of an unboxing. I didn't want to do a whole other haul video because I don't want my channel to be too full of haul videos because I know that not everybody likes that kind of thing. I'm trying to be a lot more conscious with my purchases. So you're probably gonna see a little bit more um, slightly higher end purchases on my channel, but that's because I'm really buying for longevity and investment pieces rather than flash in the pan, um, you know, trend led pieces. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. But if you don't like um, seeing too much consumerism and hauls, then maybe skip forward five minutes. But if you do, and you're intrigued to see what I picked up from Netta Porter, um, I think it was around the 28th of December that I made this order, and it's just been sitting there. I don't know why I've kind of put off opening it, but I'm gonna do it now. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, so we have two big boxes. And before I open, Slight disclaimer, um, I don't plan on keeping everything in these boxes, so there are no less than three designer handbags in these two boxes. Um, I love all three of them, but obviously I'm only going to keep one, so that's kind of why I didn't want to do... Hold on. I'll talk to you properly. That's kind of why I didn't want to do a haul video because um, I don't like the idea of doing a haul video and then sending half the stuff back. So this is more just me kind of browsing. That's what I love about online shopping is that it's so easy to send stuff back. Um, so yeah, do let me know your opinion on these pieces. It's a bit of a treat to myself. Um, I, I worked really hard last year, I honestly did. And um, not that I'm gonna stop working hard or anything, because I am just that kind of uh, type A person, but I, um, I don't know, I guess it was just after Christmas, I was feeling a little bit indulgent and just fancy treating myself. And to be honest, I had wanted to buy another bag for a little while and just nothing caught my eye. And then suddenly three caught my eye. So this is um, the first time I'm seeing them. I feel like I'm putting it off now. I just need to stop talking. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get opening. Alrighty. So as I mentioned, got them from Netta Porter. Um, I didn't get any discounts or money off or freebies or anything. Um, this is all disclaimer paid for. 100% by myself. Uh, so we've got the black wrapping paper and then, okay, so obviously I didn't just buy uh, bags. First thing that I picked up was this gorgeous bikini. You guys know what a fan I am of Marisha. I didn't need to buy any more bikinis, but I'm just in a real pink mood at the moment and I didn't have a pink bikini. So I thought I'd get this one to give this a bit of a try. Everything about this, I love this style bandeau bikini top is really good for me because I am rather flat chested so I find this the most flattering. And the scallop detail I just adore. So I'm gonna give that one a little try later on. So that's the first thing that's in this box. Then, dun dun dun. Oh, that's not a handbag. Actually the smaller box is the handbag. Um, we also, oh yeah, I got a, so the beauty products come in these little pouches, which is rather cute. Super tiny purchase. I just got a Charlotte Tilbury uh, pencil sharpener because I needed one. So that's just a rather extravagant pencil sharpener. Primark one probably would have been just as good. So I'm going to start with this. Um, I've been really into pajamas recently and I saw these and they were just the dreamiest colour in the entire world. They are stupidly expensive but I thought we spend half of our lives in bed so why not invest a little bit and enjoy some luxury while we're sleeping? Look at this colour. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy shizzle. So Olivia Van Hal is a super luxurious um, designer of luxury loungewear and pyjamas. These are 100% silk. They feel absolutely dreamy. This beautiful blush pink colour. Um, and then you've got a dark navy piping. You've got these beautiful pearl buttons. Wow. So it is a shirt. Let me just hold on. Okay, can see them a little bit more clearly. So it is a beautiful shirt and then um, loose trouser set. And then you've got this piping all the way down. These are ridiculously expensive. Like, it actually makes me question my sanity when I think about how much they are. But as I just said, we do spend half our lives in bed and I do like to have something a little bit more luxurious. So I thought I'd just 
really treat myself. This is such a frivolous purchase. Um, but I thought they were absolutely beautiful, so me. This colour could not be any more me. I do have a pair of Olivia Van Hal pyjamas that I was kindly given by Clarins at their Christmas event last year, and I adore them. So, yeah, I just thought I would treat myself, and they are, they really are stunning. So, that's the first major treat. And then, also in here, you may have spotted this little box, so let me show you what's in here. Okay, as you can see, Saint Laurent. I do not own anything from this brand so far, so this is a real first from me. Got this beautiful black box. Mm -mm -mm. And then we have a dust bag. And inside that, oh my god, it's so pretty. <gasps> oh, look at this holy guacamole that is actually more beautiful than i was expecting it's actually fairly wide i wasn't expecting it to fit so much i thought it was going to be a real envelope um oh my god that is something else so it's got this really lovely long gold strap which means i'll be able to wear it cross body let's have a little look inside oh and this leather is um i think you call it pebbled leather which is a lot more hard wearing than the really spongy leather, so hopefully it will last really well. Inside, um, you've got, ooh, loads of sections, really, really practical. So there's almost, it's almost like a ginormous um, purse, so you've got all of those card compartments. To be honest, I can't see that I will um, use all the card compartments. You've got a zippy section, and then you've got another little envelope bit here. This, really, I purchased for travelling because, yes, I've got my little Gucci one with a chevron print, but I thought this would be so good for just, you know when you need to have your your really um, important things close to you, like your credit card, your phone and your passport? I thought this would be really super for that. So I plan on wearing it cross-body. can't believe I'm trying on a YSL bag while wearing my really scruffy tracksuit bottoms. But, wow, that really is fairly spectacular. Oh my gosh. I feel like as far as colours go, this could really not be any more me. This really is the most me colour. Just popped it on as a cross body. I really like wearing it like this. It feels really secure. This tag is <laughs> really annoying. Um, I just feel like it's a really lovely shape, really good size. It's quite stiff though, that's the only thing compared to um, this one. It, this kind of like falls a little bit more naturally, it's a bit more soft. Whereas the fabric on this is more stiff. But I feel like it'll be incredibly practical. You can see everything really clearly. And then this unbuckles as well, so you could just carry it as a clutch or purse by itself. Okay, and we are now opening up box number two. Once again, a load of tissue paper and another familiar logo. Aha! Okay, so in here I have a pair of sunglasses. So these I'm really not sure if I'm going to keep these because once again fairly pricey but I do absolutely love Fendi cat eye flick sunglasses I just find them really flattering um, and as I said I was kind of dreaming of beach escapes when I made this order so let's see how these look <laughs> I feel like a character out of Grease Lightning um, not sure how much these suit me what do you guys think I love the color and I love how crazy they are, but I feel like I'd rather buy 10 Topshop pairs instead of this one pair. And then we have the remaining two bags. So, all of them actually are Saint Laurent, so another reason why I'm only allowed to keep one of them. I'm going to start with this big one, so I feel like this is a really big and practical one. And actually not too expensive considering the designer. So here is bag number two, colour wise, it's pretty similar to this last one, Why seller obviously um, loving the blush pink as much as I am this season, it's actually identical, I could wear the two together but I mustn't think like that because I really do have to send one of them back, but this I just felt was a really large practical bag, I thought I could fit so much stuff in here if I've got a work day in town and I want to take my laptop with me. It's really, really simple. It's just got this tiny little Saint Laurent logo on it there. Um, great size, this would definitely fit my laptop in. And if I'm going on a day trip, perhaps, could fit some clothes in there as well. 
I can imagine myself getting absolutely tons of use out of this, but then the problem that I have is that design-wise it's really simple, so could I go to somewhere like Reese and get somewhere just as good quality but without the hefty price tag? I really don't know, but then given the fact that I wear it so much, is it worth splashing that little bit extra out for? So that is my first world problem of the day. Once again, I'm really valuing you guys, your opinion, so let me know what you think in the comments below. And then I'm dying to show you bag number three. I can see it poking out here. All three, as I said, are Saint Laurent. So third and final, let's see which is the best. I can't believe that these are all the exact same colour. It's like they've got one massive load of light pink leather and they decided to make as many bags as possible from it. But this is the third and final bag. It is absolutely beautiful. I've never had a bag this structured before. And I was kind of thinking of this as an everyday handbag. Obviously, I do have my Gucci Diana Sis, but it's totally different in style to this one. Um, really like the handle, it feels kind of doctor's bag style. And then it is fairly spacious, but I wouldn't be able to fit. Obviously I can fit my laptop in my Gucci Dionysus, my small laptop, and I would not be able to fit that in here. This would literally just be phone, a little bit of makeup, um, a small notebook, and maybe my spare charger. Nothing too much in addition. It's got a back pocket so I could fit my card slip in there with my Oyster card and then it's got an over the shoulder chain as well which I will just get out to show you. Okay, we're back in the big mirror. So you can obviously just carry it um, by itself using the handle that it comes with. And this, I feel, is quite fashionable at the moment just to carry it like this. Although, personally, I love to be hands-free. So luckily, it does also come with the shoulder strap. Strap now attached. As you can see, it's a really dark pewter. And then you've got this leather section which does go over the shoulder. So it makes it a little bit more comfortable to wear. And it's nice and long, so once again, you can wear it over the body too, which is definitely my favorite way of wearing these bags. I much prefer to have them over the body. Feels a lot more secure. And I quite like having them in front of me as well. I feel like it really completes the outfit. I'm so embarrassed to be wearing these terribly slobby tracksuit bottoms to show you this but working from home day. I literally cannot get over the colour of this. I feel like the colour is so, so, so me, and it's a kind of colour that I've always loved, so it's not going to be going out of style, going out of favour anytime soon. It really is just so classic and beautiful. So I have got a very tough decision on my hands. Obviously, I cannot keep all three as much as I would love to. I feel like they all have different benefits and they'd all have different uses, but that would just be absolutely ridiculous and irresponsible of me, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is also try them with some smarter outfits. I'm going out for a shoot tomorrow, so maybe once I'm ready to go, I've got my makeup done properly and an outfit on that's not my casual at home outfit. I'll give them a try and see how I feel with them in some normal clothes too. But let me know your first thoughts, which ones are your favourites and um, which one you would keep if you guys were deciding, so let me know. Now I feel feel the pressure off now that I've unboxed that. I don't know why I held on to it for so long. I think maybe the thought of how much money was in those boxes scared me a little bit and I felt a little bit irresponsible so put off opening them. But now they are open, out in the open for the world to see. Um, so going to tidy up the boxes now and go downstairs and get on with that work that I seem to keep putting off today. <laughs> I'm just on the way to the gym for my first Just got back from the gym. I didn't vlog the session because my camera battery died just as I was walking, which is absolutely typical, um, but really, really good session. So I had an hour, um, well, it was meant to be an hour, but I got about an hour and a half PT session with a guy called Adam, um, who's at my gym, the Virgin Active in Clapham, Old Town. And I started off by just saying I wanted to improve my bikini body, do a little bit of work on my upper legs, um, and then move on to abs. So he set me onto a three day a week um, program and today we focused on legs. So it's really interesting actually because um, normally Charlie and I just do the same routine. We do the abs in the Roman chair, we do uh, running and then we do like leg weights, you know, and you kind of do the leg curls and things like that. But Adam was saying that instead of doing the cardio, I should really do more targeted weight style exercises for my legs because then it's um, going to help me burn the fat 
all day long, not just the time that I'm using the exercise machine. So we did uh, a warm up and then we used the machine, I don't know the technical name, but where you kind of push your legs out against a weight, did 12 reps of that, and then um, some lunges, which sounds really easy, but man did it burn, uh, did three sets of that. And then we did a mini circuit with kettlebell squats, crab crawl, which absolutely burned so much. And then the exercise where you're kind of lying on your back and do hip thrusts up in the air. That was killer. Did three sets of that. And then we did one where you strap your leg to a weight and then you kind of like kick your leg up 12 times, um, 12 on each side, three reps of that. And then to cool down slash stretch, we did... Uh, just a few stretches and then used the foam roller, which again, I'd not used before. So loads of different exercises, which sound easy, but I just kind of needed someone to put them in a routine for me. So it's really, really good, really worthwhile. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I did it. So I'm looking forward to seeing Adam again on Friday for circuits with Charlie. That'll be really fun to do a joint workout together and then hopefully I'll be able to squeeze in another day at the gym at some point this week. I really wanted to do Pilates tomorrow, I wanted to do every Tuesday, but I have got a full day photo shoot with Dorothy Perkins tomorrow, so I won't be able to do that. Um, now, when Charlie gets off the phone to his mum, we're gonna go to the GP and get our jabs done. I think I mentioned earlier uh, that we need to get vaccinations for India, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just gonna do a few emails while he's on the phone because could be quite a while so I'll see you in the doctors maybe that's weird we'll see I'll see you in a bit later morning guys sorry um, it's suddenly the morning and I didn't really vlog that much or at all last night um, but nothing really happened so it was too late for us to get a walk-in appointment at the doctor's so we didn't get our jabs instead um, we went down to Doddle which in itself was a bit of a mission because there were tube strikes so the buses were really irregular as well um, and it was pouring with rain so all the boxes that I was carrying full of Zara returns um, basically got destroyed so it's a bit of a manic evening but then Charlie made the perfect post-gym dinner he made um, chicken with like a garlic marinade and we got this quinoa edamame CD kind of concoction from M&S and some broccoli so a really good post gym dinner feeling the ache today so my session obviously was a productive one it's always good if you can feel the ache the next day and we watched Sherlock and Silent Witness and went to bed so you didn't really miss out on too much so I thought I'd turn this into a two-day vlog so it's not the world's most boring vlog and um it's seven o'clock in the morning now I'm halfway through doing my makeup in case you couldn't tell and um, I've got a photo shoot, a full day photo shoot with Dorothy Perkins today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog that much during the shoot, but I thought I'd try. I'll take you along and see how much footage I can get. So you can see two different types of day in the life of a vlogger. You've seen the boring day yesterday um, and today's going to be hopefully a little bit more fun. So I'm heading out to Shoreditch. I need to leave here at about nine o'clock. So I've got a little bit of time to finish doing my makeup and do some emails before I head out. I'm in um, my filming slash dressing room and I can smell dog poo. Dexter has definitely done a poo in here somewhere, but I can't find it. So um, having a bit of a poo dilemma. I'm really hoping he's not pooed on any of my clothes. I've got that box with the net of things that I showed you yesterday. I have had a little rummage through and I don't think he's pooed in the box. Um, but yeah, so wish me luck on finding the poo. I'm going to carry on doing my makeup now and I'll see you guys shortly. London. I am officially the least cool person in this part of London, but hey ho, we're gonna try and gonna try and rock it. Um, we're now at a place called the Albion, which is a cafe near Shoreditch High Street Station, and we've already shot the first look. So we came in, warmed up with a little bit of coffee, and just shot this outfit, and uh, got some beautiful hot pink accessories, which just looked absolutely beautiful. We're coming now to get some croissants and some coffee to warm us up and then it's out to shoot look at number two. I've seen men who sleep at the side of the road with a smile upon their face. So our final shoot location was up here at the bandstand wearing these cute matching t-shirts. Alex, let's see your t-shirt. 
so cute wearing our matching Dorothy Perkins jumpers and we are job done Victoria did a fab job Yay. whoop whoop so excited to see the photos coming to a vlog near you soon and suddenly this has just become a three day vlog I'm really sorry I just keep forgetting to vlog in the afternoons and having spoken to other girls I feel like this is not just me it is a bit of a vlogger problem when it gets to that time in the afternoon like three four o'clock you just kind of forget to vlog and you're left with all this footage from the morning and you just keep not finishing your vlog so yeah i thought i would just make this three mornings of a average vlog a week so you've seen my working from home day on monday yesterday was out shooting although i got like no footage um and today, let's see how long I continue can continue vlogging for today. I've got a day full of meetings. So you've got a full house. Today is like my day out in London at meetings, starting with one in Clapham actually. So I've got a meeting um, really close to where I live. And then I'm going into town. I've got an Elemis facial, I think, which would be lovely. And then I've got two or three meetings and vlog events. So I'll take you along. I will not... Um, chat too much because I'm aware that a three day vlog could potentially become really long but before I go I wanted to show you firstly my outfit of the day and secondly how those handbags look when I'm actually wearing normal clothes so let me show you the outfit and the Saint Laurent bag that I'm going to take with me today. So I haven't taken the returns tag off yet because I wanted to really see how it looked full of bits and bobs but this is the blush pink bucket bag and I think it looks really cute with my outfit. So, as you can see, gosh, the colours in this room are not really very good. This is the bag, by the way, that it's going to be replacing. It's Dexter's Crocodile. <laughs> Oops. Um, this is a Tory Burch bag. Had this for ages. It's so good for travelling because it's got this big zippy pocket. But I just felt like I needed to upgrade it. So, that's where this one's coming in. Size-wise, it's just a teeny bit smaller than my Tory Burch one. Um, but just as practical. So, in here, I've got my laptop, got my makeup, got my spare camera... Um, and all the usual bits and bobs, makeup, etc. And then this is my outfit of the day. So I'm wearing my boots, which you may have seen in Vlogmas. They are from H&M and I'm so pleased with them. I think they were under £40 and I just remember them being such good value. And yet I love them as much as I love my Russell and Bromleys. So that's amazing. I'm just going to pop that down. This jumper... I absolutely adore it is a wool and cashmere blend from Jaeger and I just love it it's got these huge bat wing sleeves it's so beautiful I've got a thermal on underneath it surprise surprise just because oh and it keeps peeking through there so I need to tuck it away um, just because I'm not wearing a full-on coat I am gonna wear my blush pink Reese gilet in fact I'll pop that on now so you can see it so here's the outfit with the gilet. I also grabbed, oops, sleeve issues. I also grabbed this bag so that we could see how it looks with a normal outfit, with jeans, etc. To be honest, with this outfit, I feel like it is too pink. There's a lot of pink going on with the gilet, and then the boots aren't pink, but they kind of, you know, they're pastel coloured, so there's a lot of pink. But I just, I do really, really love this bag. But I feel that it is extortionate and a little bit over the top. So maybe I will just save it for my wish list, send it back for now, as hard as that will be, and just save up for it basically because I don't need more than one bag. So this is how the outfit looks with the gilet on. Obviously when you have a bat wing top it's always impossible to put anything over the top but I felt that this was the best option. I'm going to get so much use out of this and you guys were loving it in my sales haul video as well. I could see lots of click throughs when I looked at my link tracks and um, yeah so I'm really pleased you guys love it as much as I do. So what do you reckon? Should I take the returns tags off? Should I keep it? Gosh, this is such a hard decision. I think I will get a lot of use out of this though. You know what? I'm going to go for it. to me that they've got a new facial in the store which I didn't even know this is literally just there 
so as you come into Debenhams you can just walk straight in and get a facial and I'm about to have a skin consultation with this snazzy little device behind me and that's going to show me what my skin type is and then any needs that I have whether it's dehydration or resurfacing and then I'm going to go in for the facial and then after that I will be recommended a skincare routine so they've got all these handy little box sets and each box set contains everything you need for a new skincare routine whether that's moisturizer, toner, cleanser so I'm excited to see what they have to say again now and I'm sorry I didn't get too much footage this afternoon um, but it was just a general busy blogger afternoon of events and meetings I think I showed you a few clips of my facial which was really really lovely and such a good like lunchtime treat so my facial itself lasted 15 minutes and no word of a lie everyone that I met with this afternoon commented on how glowy my skin looked so I would give that full marks for the facial so thank you very much to Elemis I also picked up some active wear from Debenhams while I was there so I'll show you that next time I'm in the gym because it's really lovely stuff and then I went to the Sanderson Hotel again I showed you a few little clips of that and it was a so fragrance launch I used to wear so kiss me all the time and I still have it in my gym bag and uh, they are launching some new six new scents my favorite was the rose petal one it was really like soft and feminine and they're launching in boots today so they're out now available in boots if you love the fragrances as much as I do so good like really affordable little sprays to keep in your gym bag or in your handbag for those little uh, midday top-ups then I had a couple of meetings um, in the Hanyard Hotel in Soho just discussing future projects and um, things to work on throughout the year so really really good day I'm back home now and I'm gonna do some emails uh, Charlie's cooking a shepherd's pie at the moment. He's also just made a juice which looks insanely healthy. So thank you to Charlie for keeping me um, healthy. So yeah, that's all I have to report. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm really sorry it was very mismatchy. You just kind of saw snippets from three days. Promise I'm going to get better. Um, but on the plus side, I do have a trip to Paris confirmed, which is amazing. So that's next week. So next week's going to be really exciting. Um, let me know if you'd like to see a few more vlogs of what I'm getting up to next week. Do you guys still like daily vlogs? Are they boring? I don't know. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. I'm going to give you guys a test again because I feel like this vlog has been totally ridiculous. So you deserve a major hug from me if you made it to the end. So can you leave um, a red heart? So coming up to Valentine's Day, leave a red heart in the comments um, and mention Paris in some way if you got to the end of this video. So yeah, I'm going to sign out and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Put the little bell on so that you actually know when I've put a new video out because I know that subscriptions have changed and it's all weird. Um, and yeah, I will see you very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you very soon. Bye!